Professor Rad here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about bar graphs that use decimals. In particular, we're going to look at bar graphs that involve proportions. So let's define what we mean by proportion to start out with. So a proportion is a number that you can kind of think of like the decimal form of a percentage. It's a ratio that expresses the fraction of the total that contains a certain trait. So that sounds a little bit confusing. So let's go ahead and look at an example that uses proportions and maybe it'll make a little bit more sense for us. So in this example, it says that Veronica reviews several bags of M&Ms and creates the bar graph below to illustrate the proportion of each color of M&M. Then we're gonna use Veronica's bar graph to answer the questions that end up following it. So for example, um, over here on this side, we have our proportions listed. So what this 0.30 means is that, um, let's say I had 100 M&Ms in a bag, something that had a proportion of 0.30 would mean that 30 out of those 100 M&Ms would have that particular color. So like if I look at the blue M&Ms here, they're just above 0.24. So I might say that's like 0.25 maybe. So in that case, that means that 25 out of 100 M&Ms or 25% were blue. Excuse me. So one of the other things I like to look at here, this one we are labeling every other line. So it's going to be helpful if I have a sense for what this unlabeled line is. And maybe I can, you know, write out what it is or at least what some of them are. So let's start out just by putting a little text box in here. And I'm going to change the font size a little bit. And format the shape so it doesn't have an outline. So the bottom line is zero. And then the next one, think of that like cents. So if you saw 0 0.06, that would be six cents. And so half of six is gonna be three. Now, if I'm not sure about that, all I would need to do is take 0 0.06, and I use my calculator to divide that by two, Ooh, and it will tell me 0 0.03. So let's go ahead and make that uh, font size I can actually see here. There we are. So that means that each of these dotted lines represents three. So I'm going to take a moment and um, and I'll check that. So if this is zero, let me count up three. So zero, one, two, three. So there's my three, four, five, six, that's six, seven, eight, nine. So this next line is going to be a nine. Apologize for the flashing here. So this will be 0 0.09, um, 10, 11, 12, so that's 12, 13, 14, 15, so this line's going to be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, this one will be 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So you'll notice that I'm basically treating these um, decimal digits like a two-digit number, right? So uh, when your clock says it's like 1203, here's the 03, right? Or 06 or 09. And once we get into double digits, then they look more like normal numbers, right? 12, 15, 18, and so on. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled in all of those missing numbers here. Um, you don't have to do this. I just find it helpful when I go to, you know, use my chart to know what those numbers are. So worst case scenario, I would make a note to myself somewhere that each of these dotted lines is like a unit of three. All right, let's go ahead and um, answer the questions that we've been asked. So part A says, what proportion of Veronica's M&Ms are green? All right, so I'm gonna look at the bar for green. This one, very nice, ends right on a line. So I'm gonna look over and I've labeled that with 0.15. So um, a proportion of 0 0.15 of the M&Ms is green. Now this next one, 
Uh, I'm noticing right away, it's asking us about a percentage. So it says, what percent of Veronica's M&Ms are yellow? So this is gonna be like a two-step problem for me to solve. This bar graph is only telling me proportion, it's not telling me percent. So first I'm gonna figure out the proportion and then I can change that into percent. So I'm looking at the yellow. So yellow is in between the solid line and the dotted line, and it looks like it's a little bit closer to the dotted line. So let's see what this dotted line represents. The dotted line represents 0.09. So since it's a little bit below that, I'm gonna say 0.08 is the proportion. Um, again, just because it's gonna be in between six and nine, and it was a little bit closer to nine. So I'm gonna use eight. Now that's the proportion. What I want is the percentage. So remember one way to go from decimal form into percent form is to move the decimal point two places to the right. So I'm gonna take this decimal point and move it two places to the right. And that will give me eight point or just eight and then throw on the percent sign. So 8% of Veronica's M&Ms were yellow. For part C, it says, what color had a proportional value of 0.14? So 0.14, if I go here, that's like 14, that's what I'm looking for. So I see 12 and 15. So 14 is gonna be in between 12 and 15 but a little bit closer to the 15. So I'm looking for bars that end in between the 12 and 15. So we've got this brown one here. Oh, that's the only one. <laughs> so the brown one ends in between the 0.12 and 0.15, and it is a little bit closer to the 15. So it's a good estimate of 0.14. So that's gonna be brown. And lastly, uh, we have what color made up 22% of the M&Ms. So notice on this one, they're also giving us a percentage. Um, so this is going to be a two-step problem, again, because we were given proportion, not percentage. So if they give us a percentage, we're gonna have to change that into a proportion first. So remember to change from a percentage into a decimal. Uh, 22 is a whole number, so the decimal point is secretly at the end here. To turn this into a decimal, we're going to move that decimal point two places to the left. So it looks like that decimal point should be going right before the two, or the first two. So that's going to be 0.22 or 0 0.22. So this is the proportion we're going to be looking for. So 22% is the same as 0 0.22. 0 0.22 is gonna be in between 21 and 24, and 22 is closer to 21. So when I look over, looks like the orange bar is gonna be it. It's a little bit above 21, so that's looking good for 22. So orange makes up 22% of Veronica's M&Ms. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for um, this problem, for this example, and for this video. And in fact, for chapter one, so we've finished um, all the material for chapter one. Uh, I think there's a now you try at the end of this video, so you can work on that. And of course, check the answers in the description box below. Um, in our next chapter, chapter two, we're going to start, um, now that we become familiar with uh, whole numbers and decimals, now we're going to start operating on them. So we're going to start adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So that's where we're heading. Um, I hope this video helped you with proportions and bar graphs, and I hope you have a most wonderful day. I'll see you next time. So bye for now, everybody.